Good evening, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar hosted by TraderClimate.com, Earn 1000 Per Day Trading with Institutional Money Moves. This is Darla Tuttle, and I'll be serving as your host for today's session. The information conveyed in today's presentation is for informational purposes only. It is not a recommendation to buy or sell any trading instrument, and the opinions given by our presenter may change without notice at any time. Please also be aware that trading involves substantial risk of loss and therefore may not be suitable for all investors, and past performance is not indicative of future results. We are recording this session and we'll be publishing the recording to TraderClimate.com tomorrow, so you will be able to review the presentation again at your convenience. We've also made arrangements with the presenter to set aside time at the end of the lecture for questions. If you have questions, kindly type them within the questions pane so she will have one location to check for your inquiries. Our guest presenter, Melissa Armo, founded the Stock Swoosh LLC in December of 2012. The Stock Swoosh LLC is an educational firm that empowers traders with a complete and detailed system to become profitable. Melissa Armo graduated magna cum laude from Gettysburg College with a BA in philosophy and a minor in Latin and political science in 1994. She was employed for several banks and brokers in Pennsylvania, Florida, Arizona, and New York as a mortgage broker for 17 years. She changed careers from banking to pursue a security trading career in 2008. A self-taught day trader with seven years of experience, Melissa's specialty is a trading strategy that focuses on shorting stocks that gap. It is now my pleasure to introduce Melissa Armo, founder of the StockSwoosh.com. Good afternoon, everyone. Let me know if you can hear me. Does it sound all good before I get going here? Thank you so much, Darla. Thank you, Trader Planet, for having me today. Welcome. It's a beautiful, gorgeous summer day. I'm so glad to be here today to lecture to everyone, and hopefully you will learn something today. As Darla said, my name is Melissa Armo, and I own a company called The Stock Swoosh LLC. And today I'm going to talk about learning how to trade on the side of institutional money. And really, it is about following my lead because I trade actively. I trade Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I am a day trader. I don't know how many people here day trade, but the strategy that I do every day can be used for day trading and also for swing trading or core trading. Now, the $1,000 a day, though, again, I'm talking specifically about making money as a day trader. So if you have any questions, you can reach out and email me after the webinar at melissaatthestockswish.com. I own my own company and I started trading, gosh, at the end of 2008. So it's seven years now that I've been trading, which it's hard to believe or ever think about my life before I traded. I really, really love the market. But we're gonna talk today about day trading. So maybe you've thought about day trading in the past and you've wanted to make money day trading, but you've never really sat down and seriously thought about doing it as a career. When I was doing mortgages, I, I was making good money and I was doing mortgages for a long time. And then all of a sudden in 2007 and 2008, the mortgage industry changed. So then I had to find another career. And the fact is that you can make a career out of day trading. The nice thing about it is that I trade very quickly in the morning. I'm trading in the morning time frame. And the reason that that is important is because that is when institutions are putting positions on in the market into the open and then also taking them off okay so if you find that specific time frame to trade you really can make a career out of day trading it's just that many many people tend to go into the market and train and they start trading at 9 30 and then they're done at four o'clock and they think of it like a job where you clock in and clock out like the time of the market i don't think of my job as a day trader like that i think of my job as a day trader to go into the market to look for a move that an institution is going to make in a stock, okay, and then take the trade in that stock on the day and then stop and then be completely done. If you've never thought of trading like this, or you are trading now and something's not working for you, or if you're even losing money in the market, you can always move forward, all right? It is never too late. This guy here is stuck in this box, but he doesn't have to stay stuck in this box. And I find when I talk to people and I and I, I can relate to them, okay? Because when I started out trading too, I, I didn't have a specific strategy. I was all over the place, okay? 
and I was losing too. And I lost money until I figured out what I know now. But know that it's never too late, okay? As long as you have your mind and a, still a passion for trading the market, and not only that, uh, a motivation for possibly finding another career, which I had because my industry in doing mortgages was crumbling. If you've got those things, it's never too late and you can do it, okay? So you really have to stop kind of the trading insanity, I call it, where people just trade and trade and trade all day and they're fighting stocks and they're paying all these commissions out to brokers because they're over trading. I always say, you know, let the market give it to you. Don't fight it. Like sometimes I take a trade and, it, and if it doesn't work, and then I take a stop, and then I'm down, then that's it, then I'm done. Taking one stop and one trade should never damage your week, okay? And you can always get up tomorrow and then have a great trade. I find that traders keep trading, trading, and then they add up these losses and they go on these losing streaks, and it really mentally, uh, just it actually takes more of a toll on you mentally than it does even financially. So you've got to kind of just relax and situate yourself and figure out where do I go from here, okay? If you're in this situation like this guy here, just take a break, okay? And summer is a good time actually to just kind of step back and look at things and be a little more relaxed. You know, people are tend to be more relaxed in the summer. But the time is now if you really want to change because you still have six more months left in the year, okay? Six more good trading months left in the year. So if you're motivated and you want to do this and you want to figure this trading thing out, it is not too late. And even if it sounds like it's too good to be true to make $1,000 a day day trading, then stop and think again because it's really not. Billions of dollars run through the market daily. So earning $1,000 a day as a day trader is just a small teeny weeny piece of what the market offers on a daily basis. And day trading is a very profitable way to trade. And after you book the money, it's yours. It is a highly lucrative and expeditious manner to trade and profit. And you're also not at risk for that long. And, and the thing is, I'm in and I'm out. So I'm really less at risk than even people that are doing overnights because of the fact that, you know, I know that I'm out and I've got my money on the day. And even if a trade doesn't work, I know exactly what my loss is on the day. It's not like you're carrying it through, okay? The worst thing people can do, and I've seen people do this, they take a day trade. It doesn't work out. It's not working out. They actually hold the day trade overnight and then it turns into a bigger loss. Don't ever do that. That's like a disastrous, okay? Because even a small loss could turn into a big loss if you do something like that. And if the trade didn't work in the day, then it's probably not right and will not work the next day through. Okay, so keep that in mind. But anyways, as I was saying, summer is a great time to trade the strategy that I trade because I'm looking at what institutions are doing in the morning and I'm literally done within the first hour of the day. So I live in Eastern Time Zone, I live in New York City, and so at 10.30, I'm usually done. And I have the whole day to myself. And no matter what time zone you live in, to be able to only trade and work an hour, an hour and a half a day is a very nice lifestyle if this is your career. So how can you do it? Well, the number one key ingredient to becoming successful as a day trader is having a specific strategy that can offer you reliable and consistent profits on a regular basis. Now, let's talk about this. What I found is that a lot of people, when I talk to them, don't have a strategy. They think they do, but they don't. Like, if I say to someone, what's your strategy? They say, well, I buy support and I short resistance. Buying support and shorting resistance is not a strategy. It's actually a play, okay? You could enter a trade on support. That would be a trade entry. Or you could enter a trade into resistance as a short. That's a trade entry, but that's not a strategy, okay? So there's a difference. So what I'm gonna talk about today is a strategy, okay? Then there's trade setups, and I'll show you some of this today, but it's the strategy, it's the foundation, and this is where the institutional money piece comes into it. But it really has to do with having a niche and a plan of action of how you're gonna proceed with that, okay? If you wanna trade like everyone else out there, then your results will be like everyone else. And ultimately, you've got to have this, this edge. You've gotta be able to do something different, see something different, and have a unique skill. And, and I've created a method. Now, it did take me three years to create the method that I trade now, and I lost money while doing that, but I did figure it out. And now I trade for a living and I've been trading like this for years and I also teach people how to do it. So as someone speaking from experience, I'm telling you that you can do it. 
And the nice thing is that you can do it from anywhere in the world. You could be online, you need a brokerage account and a computer and you can trade. You don't have to have millions of dollars to trade. I was talking to a gentleman last week on Friday who uh, invests high net worth individuals, he invests people's money. And uh, you know, what he does is so much more complicated than what I do. And, and the beauty about what I do is I have control in the positions I take. I mean, like I could take a trade and put in a stop. That man, when he invests people's money, can't take a position for a client and put in a stop. You see the difference? So we really have everything on our side. We can play on the side of institutions as day traders. We can use stops to control our risk. We can take the money in and out quickly on the day. And we can also take the money out of our account if we wanted the day, if you really want to take your profits. If you make you know, $1,000 today or $1,500 tomorrow, if you want to take it out, you just call the broker and you can take it out. I mean, where can you get paid in the same day that you make money? It's unless you're like a waitress or a bartender, but you're never going to make this kind of money, not even in a restaurant in New York. So one reason, okay, that I do so well is that I have this strategy and it gives me an edge. It's one of the reasons that I've been able to read the market so well. This is a chart of the SPY from a couple days ago. The SPY is higher. I mean, I don't know if anyone saw the market today. I didn't see exactly how we closed, but I've called the market long every day this week and it's worked. And how did I know that? Because the market actually gapped. And that's the strategy that I trade and we're going to talk about today. I trade gaps. And the market gapped every day in the last week and rallied. And so the market actually gapped down. Now this was like the other week on this grease thing, the market gap down. And sometimes there's a reason for a gap and sometimes it just gaps. This is again the chart of the SPY ETF. But I knew when this happened that on the day it was a short, but it wasn't an institutional short, meaning in the long term. That I knew we'd get over this and we did exactly that this week. And I knew we'd also make a new high, which if we didn't close today with a new high, we will. Now let me just look here at some questions. Um, Actually, I don't know how to pull this down. Let me see. Here, let me blow it up. Hold on. I don't know how to pull it down. Uh, how much buying power does one need to have of the day? I'll quickly answer these couple questions here. If you want to actively trade, okay, and I'm giving an estimation here. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to give you a number. To consistently make this kind of money, I would say you would need 100000 in buying power. So... It depends if you have a retail account or prop account. There's different types of brokers, okay? Now, that's not 100,000 cash, that's 100,000 in buying power. For example, you can open up a proprietary day trading account with $5,000 cash and get 100,000 in buying power of many places. I'm not saying you need 100,000 in buying power, but if you wanna know how much you want, you need to have to make 1,000 consistently, I would say that's a good amount, okay? All right, there we go. Somebody told me the close of the futures. So why is an edge important? Because it helps you work smarter, not harder. And again, this is how you put yourself out in front. It's very different than my mortgage job. It was like I worked so hard at that job and I did very well at it, but this is completely different. And it really was hard for me at the beginning because I did trade you know, for the first, I'd say, two years till four o'clock every day until it finally sunk in to stop doing that insanity. And I was making money in the morning and giving it back in the afternoon and making money in the morning and giving it back in the afternoon. And it was insane. It was almost like the harder I worked, the less I'd make. And that's the weird thing about day trading. I, it's just, I'm just telling you, that is a weird thing about day trading. So it has to do with having an edge and being really smart, okay? And you are smart. If you're here, you're smart enough to know to be on Trader Planet's list to find me. You just have to learn what that thing is that you have to do to go in there so you don't have to work as hard, but you do have to be smart, okay? Now, reading institutional money really gives you an edge. And here's an example. This is Michael Kors. Michael Kors, I called as a swing trade. I also day traded this, but I knew the day I day traded this was, this was an overnight. Look at the move that Michael Kors has had. So Michael Kors, okay, actually was trading the one night, this is way back in May, and closed around $60, and the next day it gapped down. So now I'm gonna go over what a gap is, okay? A stock gaps when the closing price today, which is at four o'clock Eastern time with the close of the US market, and then it opens at a different price the next day. So here it opened at 9.30, whatever the price was at the open, 48 something, I think it was. The size of the gap will vary. It could be small, it could be medium, it could be large, it doesn't matter. But the fact is this gap. 
So then I try to find these and I scan for these and I have a method then to qualify them and I rate them. And then that tells me whether or not this is really a good one or not to not do anything with Michael Kors. And it also tells me what to do the, with directional bias. Is an institution gonna do anything with Michael Kors? Are they gonna buy it? Are they gonna short it? Are they gonna do nothing with it? And that's the method I develop. Now, in the case of the day here, this was a short and it also went. So literally, from the day before the gap, look at this. So this is the night before the gap in Coors. This actually had earnings here. Literally, this stock has lost $20 almost in value. So it was worth $60. And it hasn't lost 50% of its value, but it's really getting close. It's like 40 some percent of its value, or 30, 30 35 percent some percent of its value. I mean, this is really getting pummeled. So here's a good example of institutional money in a stock. So it really can be easy to make money in the market if you know what to do. It, it just doesn't have to be hard, but you do have to know what to do. You have to know when to do it, okay, which I'm telling you is in the morning when the institutions are taking their positions, and you also have to have a focus. So how can you make $1,000 a day day trading? Focus, okay? Just like you get up in the morning, I have a cup of coffee every morning. Sometimes I have two. That caffeine helps me get alert, awake. I have a routine. I focus. Now. This was another trade here we're gonna talk about. Before I was looking at the daily chart of Michael Kors, this is a one minute chart, okay? So I'm on a one minute time frame. You can go down here and see the time. Over here is the moving price. This is QLGC. This is a trade I did the other day. We'll go over this in the seminar, except for the fact that I just wanna show you on a one minute chart what a gap looks like. Same concept, same principle, whether it's on the daily or the one minute, the stock's still gapped. What is the gap? The gap is the strategy, okay? So that's the strategy, not the entry or the play, that's just the strategy. So the entry I take on the one minute chart, which is in here, we're gonna talk about it. But I just wanna show you, this is still gapping. So here was the close the night before at four o'clock where it closed up here. Actually, the clock is in front of it here, around 13 something, and then it came down here and opened around 11 something. So this gapped down. Okay, so the strategy's there. Boom, you've got it. And you have to figure out now, is an institution gonna buy QLGC, short it, or do nothing with it? But you have the gap, okay? So what is the strategy? As I was saying, it's gaps. And I, and I called my system golden gaps because they're really gaps that are high quality gaps, okay? Because they pinpoint what the large institutional money is doing. That is what makes the gap. The professional gaps that happen and play out in stocks are formed by one thing and one thing only, large institutional money. Therefore, you need a way that will help you pick the correct direction to play the gap and confirm that the large money will flow with it. By having a formula to rate and qualify the gap, you get confirmation and then conviction that the large institutional money is on your side and then you play it. And this is how I've been able to call the market. In other words, when I was been reading the market and the market had the gap down the other week, I didn't see the institution selling in that gap, in the quality of the gap, even though it was a gap down. So I knew that the power of the side of the strength was still on the side of the bulls for the market, which has proven itself this week, okay? So gaps are an event and they create a sense of urgency. Thus an action is being forced by participants of the stock. This is why gap trading is incredibly powerful. And so trading gaps is a powerful and profitable way to trade because you're trading on the side of the power of money. And power of money really is institutional money, okay? So it's really, really important to, if you're, if you're a trader, to almost go in like you're a hunter or something, like you're, a, like you're hunting into the, into the night and you're trying to find your food, okay? You're trying to find your food and you have to get your food for the evening. You gotta go in and get it really quickly. And that's what you do. Sometimes you're in it and you get the food really quickly in five minutes, the thousand dollars for your food, or sometimes it takes you 15 minutes. Sometimes it takes you an hour, but you're still in there to get the food for the day as quick as you can. Ideally, way, way quick, meaning way before four o'clock, okay? So what do I mean by institutional money? Again, it's money that's made by banks and hedge funds, okay? So really, banks and hedge funds move the market. Like I was saying, I had talked to uh, this, this man that invests people's money, okay? What he does is very, very different than what I do. He will research companies, look at the fundamentals, read the earnings reports, and then he'll determine if he wants to 
get into a stock or exit a stock. I don't do any of that. Everything that I do is based on technical analysis and it's advanced technical analysis, okay? So fundamental research is done by institutions, so I don't have to do it. So you don't have to do it. It saves me time. What I'm doing is the price analysis of what the stock is doing right now. Because as a day trader, I have to make money right now. I don't, I don't have a lot of time to mess around or wait for the thing to go. I've got to be able to get the directional bias correct, pick the right stock that's going to move, that I can make money, and take the trade at the right time with the right setup and get out. I have to be that exact consistently to be able to make money for a living doing this. And this is where I'm telling you, you take it seriously, okay? This is no like willy-nilly about it. I'm like very, very serious about what I do and I'm very, very serious about my trading and that's how I've become successful, okay? So it can't be like, well, maybe this one or maybe that one, no, okay? It has to be like 100% conviction. You're taking this one, it's a good one, you're doing it and you have a method to pick it and you're looking for the institutions. So you don't have to worry about the other stuff. And it actually makes it easier for you because you're looking at what the price is doing right now. So reading institutional money really counts. And I had clipped this from today. This is the QQQ ETF. As you see here, this is not an all-time high for the Qs, but it's a recent high that the Qs made today. And many, many people were short this market. Why? Because it did a double, triple, quadruple top in here. The market's really been basing. To me, it's bullish. But I know a lot of people thought the market was a neutral or neutral slash bearish for the whole year since February. But it isn't. And it wasn't. And yes, we did have this fall off and drop off that happened in here in the uh, beginning of what was the end of June, the beginning of July. But we we continued. We continued. We made a new uh, recent high today. Okay. So reading institutional money counts because you don't get trapped in this kind of stuff where you're shorting the resistance or the double, triple top, thinking that the market's done, which a lot of people thought even with the grease. And I remember people asking me and calling me and emailing me about this thing here and I was like they're like oh we're having a huge gap down oh and I remember looking I was like this is nothing and it's so funny because traders really tend to exa exaggerate things um I didn't look at this as bearish at all well I don't know what the cues uh, traded at I'll look at that later where we closed so how do you make a thousand dollars a day day trading you focus on one strategy so what is my strategy golden gaps Pick the best golden gap possible each day. So how do I do it? I have a point rating system. It is a 26 point rating system and that's what tells me what to watch. You need to use a risk amount per trade of between $400 and $500 a day if you want to make this amount consistently, which is $1,000 a day. Could you risk yes? Of course. But then you're not going to make $1,000 a day. So I'm giving this range here so you know if you want to hit this goal. You take an entry on the one minute chart in the best qualified golden gap okay and then you also do not trade when there are no good gaps and sometimes there are days when you should not do anything when the market's choppy and there isn't anything that qualifies meeting your uh, parameters so again here typically you would want to look at a $500 risk unit so this R means a risk unit so if you make three risk units that's $1,500 in the low end this is what you're shooting for every day some days you get 1,000, some days you get 1,500, some days you get 1,700. This is a range. Like if you take a trade and your goal is $1,500 a day and you make 1,400, you're not taking another trade. You know what I mean? Like you have to be reasonable. This is common sense. Anyway, six R's is in the medium end if it goes to another bigger target. And then obviously 10 R's when the stocks go to the dream target. If you risk $500 a day, 10 R's is five grand. Okay. So if you make $1,000 a day, you would average approximately 20 grand a month. Some days in there you'll make more than a thousand and some days you won't trade. So this is an average or approximately about 240K a year. Okay. And this is enough to make a living for most people, at least that live in the US. Okay. So you really, really want to be focused. Number one, you want to be focused. Number two, you want to do one strategy. Number three, you want to pick one direction to play. I always do shorts. That's not to say I never go long, but I prefer to short. I only go long if I don't have a good short. In fact, I've called the market long the last week and some people in the room have done it, but I haven't because I was in a short. But you could have gone long the market this week every day on my call and made money and then done a short gap with me. But I prefer the shorts. Also, you need to know, number four, how to take the entry. Okay, these are very critical M elements. They have to be with you. If you can get these critical pieces down, then you can make more than $1,000 a day. And you can also risk more than $500 in a trade, okay? So the system I use is a rating system. It's a checklist. 
I just go off and I check it, check it, check it, check it, check it. And that's how I pinpoint where the institutions are getting in or out to determine if it's a long or a short, okay? So the rating system really measures the gap on the daily chart, okay? But then I play it on the one minute. And the rating system tells me, number one, a high probability of directional bias for the entire day. What stock's going to have a big move on the day? Because, again, I'm trading stocks in the U.S. market. You can use it for ETFs. It also gives me early confirmation of the bias, which I want. Guess what? Because if I don't get early confirmation of the bias, then the move isn't going to be made by an institution. Listen, this is very important. You, this is why if you don't get a setup by 10, you, you don't do anything. You don't even waste your bullets, okay? I've got to get the early confirmation because if I don't get that early confirmation, it's off that I'm not doing anything, that it's not going to work or I go to another pit. Because the institutions have situated before the open what they're going to do. They're not going to just say, oh, and take a trade at 12.30 in the afternoon. That's not how it works. Now, I'm not saying they won't take more of a position later in the day if they've already chosen to get into something in a gap. But I'm saying they're not going to not play it at all and then jump in in the middle of the afternoon. It doesn't work like that, okay? So I want the confirmation in the morning early because that's when the activity happens where it's like imprinted into the gap by an institution. That's how they do it. Okay, this, this, this is, what I just said was very important. I, I don't know if anyone's listening to me, but what I just said was really, really important. Okay, like you could take that information and use that to trade tomorrow, what I just said. I just taught you something there. It's like priceless, all right? This is how the market works. All right, precise entries with follow through and a good risk to reward target potential. Very, very important to have risk to reward. Some days it'll be one, some days it'll be two, some days it'll be three. But I'm shooting for three every day. You just don't know if the stock is going to go to the target or not. Now, I was saying about following my lead, it's important to have a mentor to follow. I do have a live trading room. I do call out the trades live exactly as I'm taking them and where the stop is and when I'm getting out. And I have the targets and everything in the room before we even trade and the top picks. I only allow people to join the trading room who have trained with me and taken the class. So it's one of those things, if you really are serious about doing it, you know, I'm mentoring people and people are doing well with me. But I think it makes it easier if you have a mentor. If you don't have a mentor, you can read books, you can watch videos, you can go to webinars. But it's challenging if you don't have a person one-on-one -on -one to ask questions to because everybody has questions. I mean, really everyone has questions when they're learning something to trade. And also, success is contagious. So if you have a mentor that's doing well, trading successfully, calling good trades, making money, it actually helps to push you along. It helps you to be motivated, to know that a person is doing it, that you can implement the strategy like them and do it as well yourself, because you're a person too, and I'm a person too, okay? And we're all in this together. So trading to make $1,000 a day for profit is something that's doable if you have a plan of action, all right? Now, let's look at some trades. I'll, I'll, I'll try to get to the questions here at the end so we can get through this, everyone. I do see there's some questions. Let me get through some of these things and then I will answer them, I promise. Let's go to QLGC. Well, I did show you the one minute chart on that. We're gonna look at it again, but let's just go to the daily. So I get up in the morning and I am looking for to see what is happening in this stock. It could be anything, but this was the QLGC. It closed up here the night before around $14 and gapped down in the morning here around $11 and some cents. So I say, okay, something's going on with this. And then I rate it per my 26 point rating system. And that tells me whether this is a short, a long, or no play, nothing to do with it, okay? And I'm trying to figure out if an institution is gonna do something with this thing. Because if they're not, then I'm not gonna do anything with it. And if they're gonna do something, then I wanna do something with it because I wanna make money, okay? Because every day I wanna make money. And there's opportunity in the market. And there's opportunity in the market a lot, okay? But the opportunity really comes from institutions. So I rated this gap and it was a good short and I read that it was going to get sold off. So here it is, QLGC. Now we're on the one minute chart. The stock opened, tried to go lower, rallied, broke, dropped, fell through the low, rallied back, base, 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 and dropped again. Now this was a trade that I actually was in for like an hour, which is a long time for me because I'm usually in and out in a few minutes, but here was the price of the entry, $11.16. Risk was $0.35. 4,500 shares was my risk. So I this is an advanced risk, by the way, okay? This is how much I risk, and I put in a stop. So if, this, if the trade, let's go back, had gone over this area where I had the stop, I would have been out. 
uh, my risk would have been contained, okay? And again, this is an advanced risk because I'm trading for seven years. Exit is $10.84, total profit $14.14. So this one didn't really get to the bigger target, and it did have a big stop, but I still made money on the day. And I got the direction right, and I was in and out within an hour. Boom, my day is done, okay? So here you have it, and the drop. And again, sometimes I take a trade amount in five minutes. I wanted to give this a chance. I was giving it a chance. And actually, this just didn't go to the main target. But I still made money on the day, okay? And any day you can make a comma day, as far as I'm concerned, is a profitable day. By comma day, I mean anything with a comma in the profit, okay? So here's my P&L. That's the money I made in that stock in the day, okay? Everyone always asks, you know, I, I'm a day trader. I trade. I cannot tell you how great it is to be able to make this kind of money and not just have to work from home. I mean, I can't tell you what it's like that I roll out of bed, you know, can trade in my pajamas if I want to, which I don't because I run the room and I, I wouldn't sit in front of the room and run the room in my pajamas. I wouldn't feel serious. But I could if I wanted to is the point. And to make this kind of money in an hour and have the entire rest of the day to myself and live in New York City. I mean, th this is a dream job if you can do it. So this is why I'm telling you. You know, you just got to situate yourself with some plan of action to do it because you can do it. I'm doing it, all right? And I've been doing it for seven years, although at the beginning I was losing until I figured this out. Now I know what to do, and now I know what to do, and now I'll always know what to do, okay? So you get to the point where you go through this journey, and then you finally get past it is when what? When you find someone that knows how to trade, that can mentor you, or you figure out a strategy yourself in the market that works, but I know a lot of people don't even know what a strategy is, and that's what I'm talking about, or they don't have one that works, and it, it can be hard. I mean, I know it can be hard because the market will take money from you if you're trying to figure out something on your own until you figure it out. And as much as people go through demos and they say they were paper trading, as far as I'm concerned, it's a waste of time. I never paper traded in my life. I might have paper traded the first day I ever used my account just to figure out how to press a button, and then that was it. I traded with live money since the day I started trading, except for the fact that I pressed the button. And even the first day I might have pressed the button with live money when I was figuring it out. You really have to trade live money to know what it feels like, to know the exhilaration and the passion of making that kind of money quick, and then also to know what it feels like to lose. And that, that gives you the weightiness and the experience, okay, of doing it. You, you don't get anywhere trading on a demo. All right, let's go to the next one here. This is Asna. This closed up here the night before around 1630 something and gapped down. So I look at the gap in Asna and I'm trying to determine is this a long or short? And a lot of traders might have thought to buy this on the day because it gapped down to the support on the 200 period moving average. But I have my rating system and the rating system said, no, wait a minute, Melissa, this is a short. And I can short this because an institution is going to come in and sell this stock today. And therefore, I'm making money betting that the stock will go down. So when you short something, you bet that the price is going to go lower on the day when you get in the short. And the only way a stock can go lower is, is through selling action or shorting action. Okay. So this was a short. Now let's look at the Asna trade. This was a short here. Very quickly, I got in this one. Whew, right away, it's 931. And it dropped. This one went and was done by 1015 and went a little bit more than the QLGC. Price of the entry was 1425, stop is 1450, the risk was 25 cents. If you short 6,000 shares of this, it's a $1,500 risk. Again, this is an advanced risk. I piecemealed out the exit, which sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. But in the case of this, it was a little jerky. So I got out of half at this price and half at this price. And there you have it. So time and trade was 45 minutes. Okay, let's look at it. So I got in. And again, you can play it down to the full target. But I chunked it out because it dropped. And then I got out of half and then pushed back. And then boom. And then that's what I did. And again, you're looking at time of day here. Again, you want to see the move of the institution between 9.30 and 10, which is exactly what happened. And how did I know to take this trade in the one minute chart because of the gap and because the rating system told me, the 26 point rating system told me ASDA was a short, not a long, even though a lot of traders probably thought this was a long and that's probably why you saw some of this action going on in here. Okay, But traders don't move stocks in the way that institutions do. You make money being on the side of the institutions. Okay, Now let's talk about some beginner and intermediate risks. 
Like if you want to make uh, just just you just want to risk a small amount as a beginner. If you're just starting out or an intermediate risk of four to five hundred a day. This was another one here. Again, this is a gap. This is VNCE. This just was this week. The stock closed up here the night before, and then it gapped down. So here it closed on the 13th, and here it gapped down on the 14th. So you get up in the morning and you're trying to figure out what to do with this stock. Do you buy it or short it? Okay. It was a short. So again, we find the strategy in the daily. Then we look at the one minute chart. Once the market opens, I don't get in the pre market. The stock opens and rallies. And here's the short. Boom. And in this case, this actually went right to the target in five minutes. Now, sometimes this happens. Sometimes this happens actually that happened in the play today. The stock went to the target almost immediately. That can happen. Why? Because when a sell off comes in, into the open, it could dump it down and push it right into the number. Like this is this is all money in here. This is a 50 cent move. And then that's it, your day is completely done. So the price of the entry was $9.99. Stop was $10.15. Risk was 16 cents. So if you were a beginner trader, you could risk 160 bucks, take a thousand shares, exit at 950, you would make $490. This is a nice trade. Again, I'm talking beginner. And it's in four minutes. That's fantastic, okay? And if you're just starting out, this is very reasonable. Now, in intermediate, which is where you want to be if you want to make $1,000 a day at least, you want to be either from intermediate to advanced, you don't want to be a beginner. A beginner person is not making $1,000 a day. You've got to be in the intermediate range or advanced to make 1000 or more a day. So this guy here is an intermediate. He took 3,500 shares of VNCE. And actually, you wouldn't have even needed anywhere near 100000 in buying power for that. Here, let's just figure it out really quickly. Well, it's roughly, let's just figure $10. You would have, read, you would have needed approximately 35000 in buying power. So you wouldn't, I mean, I just gave you a roughie when I said 100 This would have required 35000 in BP with a $560 risk. And you would have made $1,700 in four minutes. Okay. I, I have a range of stocks I trade as far as the price points. The range of the price points I trade varies. I really don't do anything under $2. Most stocks I trade are between five, I'd say, and 65 bucks. Um, you know, it's not like I'll never trade something expensive, but I'm not every single solitary day. Those uh, very expensive stocks have very wide stops and very wide spreads. So, I mean, that's pretty much the range of the price point that I trade in, but I do take size. So, can you do swing trades using the Golden Gap buying institutional money? Yes, you can. But not every Golden Gap actually has the ability to go where you would, could go and hold something for years and years and years and years. Now, I will tell you, if you're looking to do long-term investing, which is not swing trading, but long-term investing, you can do that in some of these gaps. So some of them are daily gaps that you can follow through for swing trades. And then some of them you could be in for years. Okay, who knows what that might go for is. One of them that you could have been in for years was Netflix. Okay, Netflix really has been has just had an amazing move. And everything's changed with that now since last night with what they did with the stock. But this was the chart before that, and I did call Netflix as a swing trade. And it actually was also a beautiful bullish gap. You could have bought Netflix here on the live day, and also did it as a swing trade, and you could have done it in here. I mean, there were many days you could have gone long Netflix in here in Golden Gaps, and it was a good swing trade. The call I made actually though on the swing trade in Netflix was in January way back in January, and this is way before anyone was talking about anything with a stock split or anything. The entry was $415, the stop was 380, so the risk was $35. Now this is a swing trade, okay? The target really was 750, but it got to 716. The dream target was 750, and then it never got there because they announced the split, but it did rally all the way up to 716 at one point in the last week. So if you had taken this January swing trade call, if you had taken this, I called it in the room, and I also called it a swing trade in the letter. You could have made $30,000 with 100 shares of that. That's phenomenal. But that is the power of institutional money in a stock. If you'd taken 500 shares, you would have had to have the wherewithal to do it, an account to do it, but you could have made 150 grand. And actually, it's not that much because you're still doing it with this buying power, although it's two to one in overnights. And obviously, if you've got real money and you could have taken 1,000 shares of Netflix, you could have made $301,000. It had a 73% move from the swing trade call I just gave in January. That's, you know, 
this is the power of institutions in what I know in moving stocks. So what I'm telling you is if you get in the right stock pick that pinpoints what the institution is doing, the sky is the limit with what you can do as far as the money you could make, not just in day trading, but swing trading or long-term investing, because when you are playing with the side of that power of institutions, the sky is the limit. Because if they're moving the stock, all you have to do is sit back and just make money. I mean, it's literally that easy. But you have to have a way, which is your edge, to pinpoint which stock is going to make the move that an institution is going to make in it. And you also have to know the directional bias correct. And then you also have to take the entry correct. And you also have to get out. Okay? You have to get out when you're up the money. You have to know where that is. So it really, the system gives you a high success rate. And that's ultimately what you want. So if you're looking to make around $5,000 a week, you have opportunity and gaps due to the momentum that comes into them, okay? It's really day trains about chunking it out, chunking it out, chunking it out. Like, let's just say you take two trains and you make $5,000 in two trades. You could just stop for the week if you want. Your goal is made, okay? Again, it's less is more in reference to trading with the market. This idea of over trading doesn't make sense. I take one or two trades a day. And actually, I just talked about this in the room this morning. I don't think I'm ever taking more than two trades a day again. I'm just not. Either take one trade and I'm done, or I might take two trades. That's it. It's, and it's rare that I even take two trades, okay? But it's really about the quality, 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 quality. What your trading account should look like is this. It should go up. It should have a directional curve up, upwards, where the money is piling up to the right, okay? You're making more and more and more and more and more and more and more every day. So it can be done. It's just that you've got to learn what to do. And I think a lot of people, you know, they get excited about trading and they're in the market and they're pressing the buttons and their keyboard and their platforms and they're taking this trade and this trade and all of a sudden they're in three different things. I'm never in more than one thing at a time, okay? So... My system really gives you a high percentage rate because it's focusing on the quality. So I teach a class, and then, then I'll answer questions here. The Golden Gap course is the name of my course. It is a 26-point rating system, and it's used to find the best stock to trade each day. The course also teaches you how to enter and exit the stock on the day. It teaches you price analysis and technical analysis on an advanced level, and the course teaches a more proficient way to read support and resistance in charts correctly, which a lot of people don't know how to do. And the course teaches you to focus on a, one strategy in a detailed manner so you can become a good trader. And, and really, the, the rating system helps you achieve your goals because it is strategic and focused. And it's very critical to have some of these elements and pieces because you've got to give yourself an edge if you want to get out there and make money. So I am empowering people to trade the market through my system. It is a full two-day course on how to strategically find, pick, and play stocks that are professional bearish gaps. As I said, I like to short. Retakes are free. The class is online. You can be anywhere in the world and take it. And the class is July 25th and 26th from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Cost of the class is $34.99. So it's not this weekend. It's the following weekend. You can email me at melissa@thestockswish.com if you would like to sign up. I am doing a special for everyone that came to this webinar. I've never done this before. Okay, I wanted to give something really great for Darla's people, for Trader Planet. If you sign up by Sunday... Okay, four days away, July 19th, you will, if you sign up for the Golden Gap class, you will get the entries class for free. Free. Another whole class I do, which costs almost $1,500, I will give this for free to anyone that signs up for the Golden Gap course, new students, by 5 o'clock, July 19th. This is really a great deal, okay? And this entries class is an advanced class. I teach the entries in the Golden Gap course but I teach how to do ads. I teach how to piecemeal in and out in the advanced class. I find a lot of people struggle with entries. They really, really do. And I'm really good at that. And this, again, I do this all in the one minute chart. But that's how you get the precision to use something and take 6,000 shares with a 10 cent stop or 5,000 shares with a 15 cent stop. It's the precision that I'm getting when I'm reading the numbers of my entries that I'm able to take that much size and put a stop somewhere that I know is not going to go over it unless it fails. And if it fails, I want to be out of it. Because again, you're containing your risk, and I know where that is. And so this is a, a great, great offer for anyone that's here that wants to learn today, okay? This was another trade from the other day. I just put in here with the entry, another nice short. And as I said, I do have a live trading room. It's open every day from 8.30 to 11 a.m. Eastern Time. The live trading room is something you can only sign up for if you take the Golden Gap class. And I do this because I want people in there that are serious about their trading. I really want to learn, and as you know, 
you know, trading is something where you got to be serious about it if you want to make money. So I have a nice group of people in there now that are doing well and following me. And as I said, I call the trades. You can do this for a career. You can make a thousand dollars a day, but you have to be very specific with what you do. And why wouldn't you be? I mean, it's like it's like common sense again. It's like if if, if I said to you, well, you'd have to be very specific if you want to make that. Why wouldn't you then? You know, that's what's so hilarious when I talk to people and they're, they're just like all over the place. I'm like, well, how do you expect to make any money? It's like, do you really think you're going to make any money doing like that? I mean, it's, you know, common sense. Okay, just get back to the basics. Common sense tells you if you're trading the stock with the institutions, you're going to make money. If you're trading the stock in the opposite direction of the institutions, you're going to lose. Common sense. Common sense says if you over trade, you're going to lose. Common sense says if you can find quality, you're going to make money. Common sense says if you take size, you're going to make more. And how do you take size and how do you take more risk? Well, you got to know what you're doing. Okay. And that's me. I just plopped that in there because I had that professional picture. All right, let's look at the questions here. Uh, let's open it up. <laughs> I thought I put in a recent picture there. All right, let me just open everything up here to the questions. Okay. All right, let me try to scroll back to all the things. If we become members, is there any way we can follow you step for step in these trades? Yes, in live time, I'm going to say 10 by 25, boom. And you're going to see the stock, and I have it up, and I talk about it all morning so you know. I like ASNA, ASNA, whatever I say. And I'm going to say it in live time, and we're taking it all together. Absolutely. I'm calling it in live time and taking it in live time, and I'm telling you when I'm taking it out, and you're taking it out with me in live time. It's so easy to follow me. I, I'm, I'm the easiest person to follow. Oh, I know what I wanted to say. A friend of mine is in another room. He's in another room and he listens. He said they called 65 plays last week. And I think, I, I guess I called five or six or something. He said, and I, I, I almost fell off my chair. 65 plays. How can you even follow a room that calls 65 plays in a week? How could you even follow? Even if you wanted to follow the person, even if, the person, if, even if that room was making money, how could you possibly do all of those trades and follow them? You couldn't. It would be impossible. Do you see what I mean? What I'm doing is, what I'm doing is unique. My room is unique. I only call one or two trades a day. I close at 11 o'clock. I don't trade in the afternoon. I'm in charge. I'm the only one that talks. I'm the only one that communicates with everybody in the room. I'm the one that's making decisions what we're trading. I'm focusing only on shorts. I mean, I am that, I am that smiley guy there in that group of people because my room is unique. My class is unique. I'm unique. That's why I'm making money. I mean, I would not be making money in the market if I did 65 trades a week. That's insane. Okay. And if you're in a room like that, I don't know what to tell you. Um, let's go back here. One trade per day. If I take two, it's because I'm in love with something. You're learning now, and this is what you're striving for. Excellent. Quality, quality, quality. It's just like if I'm going to get married, which I'm single right now, but if I'm going to get married, I'm going to get married one time. At this point now, one time. And I would have always got married one time. Quality. I want a quality man. That's it. Okay. <laughs> One is all you need. One good trade, one good man. Uh, are you looking at, at order flow to determine direction? No. I look at volume, but not order flow. You lost sound? Does everybody have sound? Uh, do I use a scanner to find gaps? Just a scanner on my platform, not a separate scanner. I don't have to pay for a separate scanner if that's what you mean. Yes, you can have a free one-week trading room trial. Email me if you would like that. How long does it take the reigning system to rate the gap, you mean? Well, it doesn't take me long because I've been doing it obviously for a long time. If you're brand, brand new, I give an average between five and eight minutes per gap. But you make a small watch list and you rate them. So it's not like you're rating 1,000 things every morning. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's hard to go into it now. It's like too much detail. But the bottom line is you make a small watch list in the morning. So you have the couple of them that you're looking at. So in earnings season, you'll have more. You might have... 10 in earning season and in non earning season you might have three to four but you would get up before 9 30 and rate them on I, I would say you'd have to start between 8 30 and 8 45 9 o'clock the latest okay because you want to be prepared you want to be ready you want to have your gaps rated if you're in the room i rate the gaps for you and put the information in there but really you should rate your own gaps anyways even if you do the class because that obviously that helps you get more conviction to do it and take the risk but i'd say even if you're brand brand new three to five minutes per gap but you have a small watch list. You're not rating a thousand things, okay? So it really sounds like a lot of things, which pinpoints the quality, but it doesn't take you that long to do them. You just look at the daily chart and you're like, boom, 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 and you check it. The room is $250 a month. 
But again, you have to take the GAP class in order to join the room. And I teach you everything in the class, so you don't need to be in the room. You don't really need to be in the room. But what I was pointing out when I was saying this about following my lead is that I make it very, very easy for people. I, I can't make it any more easy for people. So if you want to learn and take my class to learn the system, so that someday I go off into the sunset, and if I'm not teaching the class again, which I won't teach the class forever, okay, I'm young and doing it now on the weekends, but you'll know what to do. But I make it so easy for people to be in the room with me because I'm looking at one or two things a day, calling the trades live, taking them with them, telling them everything, all the numbers. I mean, I make it so easy to make money right after you do the class if you do want to sign up for the room. Again, that's your option. Some people do, some people don't. But you'll know everything so you don't need me. But the idea of having a mentor helps, especially if you're new to trading, okay? It's $250 a month, RL. That's what it is. You can't, you can't join if you're not a member. So the market is definitely higher, everyone. I mean, I just want to tell you that. The market, the market is really, really going to blow. And I don't know when it's going to happen. I'm not saying it happens in July or August. I don't know. It could be September. But I'm telling you, the market has been higher all year. It is going to absolutely explode. Explode. Okay? And, you know, I've seen this through my price analysis of gaps. That's how I've been able to read it. But I know the market's been tricky. And if you haven't kept yourself in check in the last few months as day traders, you may be struggling. Or if you have a strategy where you need the market. The nice thing about what I do as well is that because I'm looking at what the institution is doing in that specific stock, in that specific day, I don't need to worry about what the market's doing. If you are looking for the market to get your trades, you may be getting crushed this year. Which, which I warned everyone at the end of last year. But this has been the best year I've ever had, okay? But, you know, you really have to have something that is specific. And with what I do, the market usually doesn't situate itself until a little bit later. So I'm in and I'm out so quickly that even if the stock flips with the market later, it does it later, okay? That's, again, why that time of the day to take the trades, to get the move is so important into the open with what the institutions are doing. And then whatever the market wants to do, the market wants to do. I mean, like what happened last week? Like in the middle of the afternoon when the market shut down. I wasn't even in a trade. I was like, somebody called me. I was like, oh, whatever. I mean, I was out in the city. It didn't matter to me. I never trade in the afternoon. I don't get caught in that stuff. If you would like a referral for a broker, you can email me. The minimum you can start with at the prop account, I believe, is 2500 That's at a proprietary day trading firm of which there's a million, bazillions. Uh, will I have the class again? Yes. I will have another class. I don't have the dates for the next class yet. You can email me. I am training only stocks, although a lot of people that are in my room are doing options. They are. I will tell you, you can use the system for options. I don't, I don't do that, but you could. Okay, it's totally, totally up to you. You would rate the gap using the 26-point rating system. You would not take the same entry, meaning with the entry and the stop, because you're doing an option. You'd have to know how to do the option yourself. I'm not teaching you how to do the option. You'd have to know how to do that, okay? But you would be able to pick the pick and get the direction right based on the 26-point rating system method that I teach. That you'd be able to do. And that is what some people are doing. I actually had people do that in Netflix, and I have people that are in the market I called the market long. That was one of the swing trades I did. People are still in it. They're in it. And I know some people have done a couple options in the market call I've made. And obviously today they're up. Okay. And since the market is at a price point of those ETFs, you know, that makes sense for some people who want to hold it. Per, you know, I like the day trading though. But you can use a system for swing trades. You can use a system for options. You can use it for whatever you want to make money. It's got to be something that gaps. So you can apply this to Forex. Well, I mean, you could, but there's only one gap in a Forex, which is because the market only closes there once a week. But it's the concept of gaps. Again, it depends where you trade. At a retail account, there's different requirements than a prop account. A retail account requires 25000 A prop account, you can open up an account, I think, for 2500 I'm not a broker, though. You really have to talk to brokers to find out those specifics. There's only about a kajillion online. <laughs> I mean, you, there's brokers are out there like all over the place, prop places and brokers. Honestly, all you need is a broker that gives you good shorts and good execution. 
It doesn't matter where you go as long as you get good short access and good execution, okay? Like what I mean, like if I press the button, I go, boop, you know, I got to get in. So like if I press it, I want in. That's what I want, okay? I want to get in as soon as possible. I've never traded there. I have no idea. Or Thinkorswim is a, is a platform, I think, or something. I've never used it, so I can't speak for that. When you gap trade... When you got trained, you start from the pre-market. Well, I start, I roll out of bed and start looking at stuff. I could be looking at stuff right now. I, but I don't usually look at night, but you could. I like to look in the morning. So as soon as I get up, I look. Whatever time that is, 7, 7.30ish. Well, I get up earlier than that, but I mean, that's the time I usually sit down and look. Okay. Any more questions from anyone else? It looks like we're almost at the time here. Thanks for coming, everyone. Thanks so much for, for having me, Trader Planet. Thanks, Darla. Thanks for staying here on this gorgeous, gorgeous, fabulous summer night. I mean, it's so pretty out. I'm, I'm going out right now to enjoy myself in the city. And thank you so much, everyone, for coming. If you'd like more information, email me at melissathestockswish.com or Darla. Thanks, Trader Planet. Thank you, Melissa. Enjoy your evening in New York as we do here in Tampa. The recording for the session will be posted at TraderPlanet.com's video section tomorrow. Look for the video titled, Earn 1000 Per Day Trading with Institutional Money Moves. For those of you who may be new to Trader Planet, we certainly hope that you'll consider joining our community as a member. Membership is absolutely free and you can join by going to TraderPlanet.com slash join. This concludes today's program. Thank you for attending, and all of us here at Trader Planet and the StockSwoosh.com wish you a good evening and a profitable trading day tomorrow.